Well, millions, millions of moms working hard to provide for their children. But could their careers be harming their children's health? A new study suggests the more a mother works, the heavier her children get. Dr. Barry Sears is the best-selling author of The Zone uh, diet book, although it's more, really more of a way of life, one that yours truly happens to follow and believe in. Dr. Sears, it's an honor to have you on and to meet you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, okay, and by the way, I'm not the only person who follows the zone. Jennifer Aniston is your most favorite, uh, be most uh, well-known believer. Okay, let's get to the working mom guilt. This is the last thing we need. Now, not only are we spending not enough hours with our children, we're making them fat by working? Unfortunately, uh, it's true, and it's common sense, uh, that if you have a working mother, it means she has less time to prepare meals for her, her kids and herself. Is that the linkage? It's, that, it's not that your kids are sitting in front of the TV more or less active. It's that they're not getting home-cooked meals? Uh, the answer is yes. It basically, it turns out that what's happening is actually quite insidious. The, the processed foods that we eat in, more and more in America are composed of two ingredients. One is re inexpensive refined carbohydrates, and the other is cheap vegetable oils. And when these two combine, they form a fatty acids called arachidonic acid, but in reality, it's toxic fat. It's that fatty acid that turns on ancient genes that make us fat and keep us fat. And they say that this is actually costing kids about two extra pounds a year. So over the years, this adds up in a child. Uh, now, I'm going to, this isn't your study, so I'm not going to blame this on you, but I do take issue with the sexism in the study that presumes that it's the woman who has to stay at home and cook. Dads can cook, too. Working dads and working moms are both absent from the house, so it's not all, you know, that's the headline, that it's all blame working moms because they always say that. But it's basically kids who have processed foods instead of home-cooked foods. So how can this be solved for, for you know, 70% of American mothers work? Well, it's a very difficult problem because we can't ask those 70% or 70% of American mothers to go back to the kitchen or their fathers, for that matter. Right. Nor uh, would most of our children enjoy that, things. speaking from my own personal experience. <laughs> But here's one thing we can do, and actually it's a very, very simple format. The reason that basically the weight is being put on is because of what are called an overconsumption of omega-6 fats in those foods. Here's the thing that your grandmother told your parents to do two generations ago. You take extra omega-3 fatty acids to counterbalance that. What they did two generations ago was that no child could leave the house before they had a tablespoon of cod liver oil, oh. probably the world's most disgusting food. Right. But that, but that amount of omega-3 fatty acids can turn off the fat in your fire, the fat, uh, the fire in your fat, which is causing you to become heavier as a consequence of eating more and more processed foods. So you, I mean, they, they look like little gelatin uh, capsules. These, these, uh, these uh, omega-3 fatty uh, capsules. Uh, you're recommending giving those to your children. Well, you do if you want to have also a, a probably a thinner child, but a smarter child. What got lost in the media the last two days, another story came out that demonstrated that children under age of three who were fed processed foods were actually dumber. So if you want your child to be thinner and smarter, then giving them omega-3 fatty acids is a pretty good uh, opportunity to achieve both goals simultaneously. Interesting. And folks, uh, just in case you're wondering about the zone diet, it's not really a diet. You don't starve yourself. It's just a way of eating uh, that recommends, in general, Dr. Sears, forgive me for paraphrasing your own brilliance, but it's basically healthy <laughs> proteins, uh, you know, low sugar carbs, the good carbs, vegetables and, and fruits and so on, and, and the good fat fats like uh, macadamia nuts and not a bunch of butter. Exactly. Here's a good rule of thumb. If you want to basically lose weight, eat more colorful carbohydrates. Those are called fruits and vegetables. Good. Dr. Sears, thank you. And that way we won't be guilty. We won't have heavy children. And <laughs> we don't have a bunch of dum-dums coming up as the next generation. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Very Sears, everybody.